So that's your salary, $26, and you work Thursday to Sunday, so that's four days a week, right? Four days a week. Hi guys, it's me again. Welcome back. I hope you guys are okay. To those who are new here, I am Yaya Veloso. I am a registered nurse in regional Australia, and I am also a registered nurse in New Zealand and the Philippines. This vlog is all about housekeeping, the job description and the salary of a housekeeper. So this has been a highly requested vlog, and I made this video for those who requested for it, and others may find this very helpful. The housekeeper that we will set as an example is the one who works in an aged care facility or a care home, particularly Somerset. There are other areas where a housekeeper can work like hotels, offices, Airbnbs, etc. Somerset is one of the largest care homes in New Zealand and just a disclaimer that this is not a sponsored video by Somerset but I would just like to use Somerset as an example because I've worked in Somerset for two years and I've had first-hand experience with the housekeepers there. There is a public document of Somerset that is accessible online which you can refer to and have a look for the different salary levels. I will place the description in the link below. Now I will put the link in the description box below. Before we dive into the salary part of this video which I really like talking about salaries, let's talk about first what does a housekeeper do at work. So these are the duties and tasks of a housekeeper. Cleaning surfaces and wiping up spills, sweeping and mopping floors, vacuuming and shampooing carpets and upholstered furniture, dusting, polishing and maintaining furniture, lamps and fixtures, emptying rubbish bins, washing dishes and cleaning kitchen cupboards and appliances, sorting, washing, drying, ironing and repairing clothes, refill the tissue papers and soaps in common toilets like toilet in the staff room and visitors toilet as well as patients room. All right guys, this is our favorite. We're going to talk about the salary now. So I have here my cheat sheet. Sheet, cheat, 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 cheat. This is our lesson for today. Can you see that, guys? Can you still see me? <laughs> Crazy. Right. So that's your salary, $26, and you work Thursday to Sunday. So that's four days a week, right? Four days a week. And you have 40% on weekends, right? It depends on where you work. There are facilities that would only give you extra $2 per hour if you work on weekends. But for Somerset, it's giving you they're giving you $10.4 per hour. That's 40% of $26. And you work eight hours per shift with 30 minutes unpaid break. So that's 7.5 paid hours only per shift. And then you now have here eight days. So four times two because that's going to be bi-weekly times 7.5 hours. That's your 7.5 paid hours there equals 60 hours per fortnight or bi-weekly times your rate which is $26 is equivalent to $1,560 okay now you have here 30 hours that's half of 60 hours right where did I get that from so the 30 hours that is your two Saturdays and two Sundays okay because we are going to multiply that one with 10.4 because that is your extra for working on weekends so that's equal to 312 dollars so the total amount per payday gross is 1872 dollars now that's so what you can see here you have 1,872 times 26. Where did I get the 26 from? 26 because there are 26 bi-weeklies or 26 fortnights in a year. So your total amount is 48,672 and that's your gross income per year. All right, now let's talk about the tax. It is very, you know, it's a very complicated topic. I have a basic understanding of the tax system because I, I studied business in New Zealand, but you know, but to keep this short, 49, 49K or 48K belongs to this bracket, okay? So the bracket is $48,001 to 70,000. The tax for that is 30 percent all right but that doesn't mean that the total amount of 48,672 will be taxed 30 percent 
okay new zealand has a simple progressive and fair tax system people with higher taxable income pay higher tax rates i am just going to use the tax calculator available online i will place a link in the description box below for you to access the tax calculator so after using the tax calculator this is the take-home pay per year in new zealand dollars 40,987.65 and in philippine pesos we are using the average which is 34 so one new zealand dollar is equivalent to 34 Philippine pesos that's the average sometimes it goes up to 35 sometimes it goes down to 33 but we're just going to use 34 so the uh, Philippine pesos conversion is can you still see that okay 1 million three hundred ninety three thousand five hundred eighty point ten and you take home pay per day how did I arrive to this amount I just divided this one by 26 because remember earlier in my previous cheat sheet I multiplied the bi-weekly gross income by 26 so you just have to do to divide that by 26 1576.45 or 53,599.30 and the payday is every 14 days now if you're wondering how much is your monthly income you just have to multiply these amounts by two and to those who are requesting this blog from Nepal there was one from India there was one from Pakistan just do your own calculation okay that's gonna be extra job for me peace i am pretty sure that there's a question in your mind now which is how can i apply as a housekeeper in new zealand and i can't look in your eyes straight because this is not a good news i've got lots of questions in my previous vlog which has a title expected salary of a caregiver in new zealand and there were lots of questions how can I apply as a caregiver and I'm pretty sure this time in your mind or right, if you're watching this I know you are asking how can I apply as a housekeeper in New Zealand the brutal truth is jobs that do not have qualifications license such as housekeeper caregivers kitchen assistants will less likely be hired from overseas or outside of New Zealand as compared to nurses registered nurses and engineers but even even us registered nurse and engineers we do bridging courses as well we studied before we we got our registration having said that fact facilities can just hire someone anyone in New Zealand because again it doesn't have a license my advice or recommendation though is to keep applying because other facilities might be oh oh I, I like this one this has this one has a massive experience so let's contact this person so even if you're overseas there is still a chance that you will be contacted as to where you can apply you can go and visit seek.co.nz or trademe.co.nz I will put the link in the description box below or if you have a particular company in mind you can visit their website and you can apply directly in their website my last advice is to visit the immigration new zealand website you explore and check all the different type of visas and you focus on one visa which you think is easy for you to meet the requirements all right everyone good luck to all of you i am really hoping that all of you will be able to reach your goals and dreams in life if you find value in this vlog please hit like and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment it down below i will do my best to reply as soon as possible and please consider subscribing if you haven't and click that bell button to get notified whenever i post new video and as always don't forget to think young and stay young see you in my next vlog god bless you